You know what's more exciting than visiting your local store? Is visiting the local store that just about to open. And I was so lucky to be one of the first guests before the grand opening of the new store in Western Massachusetts called the Unruly Stitch. This store is owned by Anne Arundel and it just opened its doors yesterday on Monday, May 1st. So I got a sneak peek of it on Saturday, a couple of days before. And then I came back for the grand opening to meet some of the people who were there. So today I'm sharing with you the recap of that visit. Hello! Hello. 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 So good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Oh guys, look Welcome at this. Welcome to the Unruly Stitch, where you can find all of my favorite, favorite yarns that I very carefully chose to be able to propose to you. <laughs> my name is Anu and uh, I decided to open a new yarn store in the town of Weston. The name is the Unruly Stitch and welcome and let <laughs> me show you around. Thank you. So those are all our beautiful yarns that I uh, curated and chose one by one. This one is a host garn and um, it is a beautiful yarn that feels maybe a little scratchy but that's just because it has still the oil from the machines and it's a yarn that will surprise you once you block it. It will bloom and be beautiful. And the thing that I like about it is that they're very affordable and also look at the choice of colors. Unbelievable. I think it would make amazing shawls. Or really amazing crochet shawls or knitted shawls, by the way. I love these. What's the name, Irina? Sharan Shahar. Shahar. He makes amazing mugs. He's very talented. Actually, he makes a lot of different things, but a lot of things for knitting. And look, look, you know, Irina, you like lace? This one <laughs> must be your favorite. <laughs> and then you have um, many kits for people that like to have everything together in one. So you can knit uh, little toys and you have the yarn that's actually Sheepius. Yeah, I think it's Sheepius. Yeah. The yarn and um, then you have little kits for embroidery too or you have little kits for beanies or coils where you have everything there that you need and you have um, macrame for kids really nice and I couldn't resist putting <laughs> little dolls too because they're just so adorable and they're hand sewn actually all the things that I that I you know bring to the store are things that I can relate to the makers and that's why I have also little bios of the brands that's Bichet Bush so here is a little bio about Bichet Bush um, so you can come and not only feel the yarn but also learn about the makers and so I have hand dyers All right here this is dye mad yarn which I love their colors love 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 they're so much fun so much fun and also i have a little bio about them too so you'll have to come here and feel them touch them and admire the beautiful colors beautiful beautiful look at all the choice they have um gladys which is a shawl one they have mini dk they have so many beautiful colors and then on the other side right there that's a UK based, uh, well, actually Ireland based company, Life in the Long Grass. Love, love that company. I love that. Oh, um, so yeah. beautiful. This is their merino silk. Look at the sheen. Look how bright those colors are. I, I, I want to make something out of each and every one of them. Each and every one of them. Then you have Quince & Co, which is a very lovely company too. I like them a lot. And you have um, mohair from Drops. I like mohair from Drops because I think it's very affordable. And I think it's really nice. I'm not allergic or sensitive to mohair. Some people are, I'm not. 
nice. <laughs> and then those bags are Atenti bags. So it's actually a USA made company, but they're inspired by Italian makers. So um, beautiful, beautiful tapestry embroidery. And what are these? Uh, those bags are also from Atenti. And this is my favorite. I just like, it reminds me of being in Italy and do, oh, what was the name of that brand that does the embroidery? Oh, it escapes me right now. Anyway, and uh, knitting for Olive, of course, right there. Beautiful yarn. Wait, wait, wait. Right here from Denmark. And we have the merino, we have the cotton merino, we have the kid silk mohair, and also the cotton merino and the heavy merino there. What I love the most about um, Knitting for Olive is their colors. The range of color is kind of neutral and muted. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, here we have kind of a hodgepodge of things that I like. Uh, La Droguerie is really nice. It's a French brand that is also very affordable. But what I like about them is they have hemp, llama, all kind of um, linen. And it's really nice for the summer too, because in the summer, you know, we might want to have a little less heavy things. And I, what I like to do is to mix things. So this is llama and I might just mix it with silk mohair or even with linen or alpaca i don't know i like mixing and that's why i'm called the unruly stitch i don't <laughs> obey to any rules <laughs> i think rules apply to a lot of things but not to fiber art uh and here is kremka very nice company too and this is called vegan cashmere so touch it irina oh that's so soft yeah right <laughs> And it's it's a uh, it's vegan material, so it's like cotton, but it's not hard as cotton. It's really really soft, and I like their color too. Kremka does also one that I like a lot. It's a denim one. Look how cool that is. That's beautiful color. Right? Can you imagine being a scarf like with this and this doing a scarf like that? And... I see a lot of opportunities. Right? <laughs> oh my God, this place is. I wish, I hope I will have time to knit. That's the question, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, Shopal is really nice. Um, I, why do I like Shopal? Because I love Andrea Mori uh, shift and shift again and all that. But I think the spin cycle is very expensive. Uh, or even though I really like, right. you know, if I splurge, definitely. Um, but I think that's a really good alternative. Yeah. Mm, what else? We have uh, Queens and Co. I love their speckled linen. Oh, isn't that? Look how smooshy, mushy it is. Beautiful. Ah, anything else here? No, life in the long grass, but that's different. Um, DK and 100% Shetland wool. Lovely, lovely. Some people do not like the superwash, which I can understand. It's very different, you know, there is, I think there's a place for <coughs> superwash and non-superwash, but I want to give people the option. Knitting needles. So, which are your favorites? Do you have a favorite? Chiago. I Same. love Chiago. I'm a Chiago girl, yeah. Uh, 100%. And the lace one, especially, even yeah. for non-lace, because, you know, I'm not doing lace uh, that often. I want you to teach me, Irina. <laughs> <laughs> They'll swap some skills. Yes. <laughs> Um, so I, but you know, they are luxurious. I would say, for the non-luxurious, because sometimes you don't, you know, have some project that you don't need to use those. Or if you are on a, a smaller budget, I like uh, knit picks. They're really nice, and I really like the Zing Knitter's Pride. And these ones are amazing. If you don't know them, the carbons. I actually really tried really ones. Yeah. Like them. Yeah. Really, uh, they and they sharp and they, they sharp, and the cord doesn't mm -hmm. stay exactly yeah. and double pointed needles you know i mean it's a love and hate relationship <laughs> but you need them sometimes 
and yeah. then the clover uh, are my the always have been my favorite crochet. I like the ergonomic uh, silicone little handle. It's perfect for me. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you something about um, English versus uh, no, it's, uh, continental versus English. English. Yeah. Because I have problems with my wrist. What, which what do you do? I do continental. Continental. Yeah. I need to learn. <laughs> this is a really nice company, Cuddle and Kind. Um, and the beauty of this is that every time you buy a little toy, isn't it adorable? Uh, they donate money to feed 10 uh, kids in need. Oh, that's so nice. Isn't it lovely? Oopsie. I love lovely. your bags. The bags? The unruly yeah. stitch. Unruly stitch. This one is for you, Irina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the wool soap. Yes. We need, we need, we need stuff to block. block. Yeah. Do you know I didn't block for many, many, many years? Oh, really? I block everything. <laughs> I was uh, afraid of blocking. Really? Yeah. And no. now I'm, it makes I all the never, difference. Yeah. And that's Yarn Cafe. It's another uh, one of my favorite beautiful. Look at this speckle yarn. I mean, come Touch yourself. Oh. Uh huh. What is that? Yarn Cafe. So it's a mom and daughter. Do you know the dragon, dragon horde? Uh, yeah. That's her daughter. Oh, and that's nice. the Yarn Cafe is the mom. I love that yellow. It's like so vibrant. Right? It's like totally like gold. The color and, uh, yeah. Sometimes you have the color, but you don't have the softness. This yeah. is, um, but it's very different than Life in the Long Grass, which is shiny because of the silk. And this one is matte. So depending what you prefer. And then I really like natural fibers. Yes. Linen. Is that linen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that's not from po Latvia, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it's beautiful. I love, love knitting or crocheting with that silk? Linen. That's the same. That's merino silk. Mm hmm That's delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Zen yarn is really fun, too. That's a company I like, too. I just began to, to um, crochet and knit with them. Yeah, I love the color. Like, if you need a pop of color, look at that. So much fun! <laughs> Oof. Oh, and I found again mm -hmm. some mugs. Yep. I came back that day with a whole bag full of goodies. Let me show you what M gave me. So she gave me this life in the tall grass skein. Some beautiful blue my hair. She knows me well, right? And then Le Petit Lamb Wool, also in beautiful blue. And this is a, some really lovely cotton merino in white. And then I, I got this, uh, the gin color that she was showing me in her tour. And then this beautiful little lamb ball. Look how adorable it is. <laughs> And then there was this white, fluffy, beautiful mohair knitting for olive, white mohair skin. And that's not all. <laughs> and then there was this really cute stoppers for the needles. Love those. And I got the unruly stitch in and some silk and some the balm the heal it all balm in lavender and lemongrass and then she gave me this raw counting necklace as you can see she really spoiled me and i love that story it's so charming and it has such a beautiful ambience so i had to come for the grand opening of course i want to share with you how that looked hi i'm alice dunn smith and actually this is my first cardigan sweater it's goody fay uh cardigan and it's actually done in um on the round um which is an indie dyer up in maine and she does a beautiful job i love her colorways this is our cottage dk 
Um, and I have a long sleeve version, which is done in Kathmandu, DK100, Queensland. And we're really excited to be here at Unbuilt Stitch <laughs> Grand Opening. Thank you for coming. Oh, Thank you for coming. I cannot so, wait to knit your yeah, cardigan. So I'm from Birch Tree Knits and uh, excited to be here. Thank you. So, I love the space, I love the people. So I have been loving yarn since I'm a really little girl. Mm -hmm. I used to knit when I was little and crochet. Mm -hmm. And it has been a passion since then, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, on and off, you know, life takes you places and I had kids and I stopped knitting, then I took it back. I also love crochet, so and crochet for me is such a meditation, it makes me feel so good mm -hmm. and we all go through ebb and flows in life and I, for me sure do. so I know <laughs> and for me it was such a it saved me a few times you know my my crea Likewise. my creativity I'm a very creative person mm -hmm. so I wanted to share it with uh, people and I, I had a YouTube channel I still have a YouTube channel with crochet and a crochet design and I wanted just to share you know the knowledge that I have that my mom was grateful to share with me mm -hmm and my grandmother, but a lot of people don't have that, you know? So I was like, let's share. Mm -hmm. you know, if, if one or two person get the benefit of it, I will find myself very happy. And that's the way it began. And uh, I, I think in the world of crochet, people use a lot of yarns that are from big box uh, shops. And I want to introduce to the world of crochet also beautiful yarns. I think it's, you know, it's not because you crochet that you have to, you know, take acrylic or basic things. I think that crochet deserves noble yarns too. So that's one of the things that I thought in my, mm -hmm. you know, my next mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on top of that, I went down the rabbit hole of knitting and I love knitting now. And I mean, once you go there, it's just, and right. I and, hear it. And then the yarn shop it. was missing in Weston. <laughs> And so it had to happen. And so it had to happen. Had to happen. So I obliged. <laughs> yeah. And so how did you decide on the choices in the yarns that you... So I contact people and depending on how nice they were... <laughs> 
critically important. <laughs> Very important. First of all, I have my, you know, I was hoping that my favorite yarn, you know, dyers, or, mm -hmm. and they were amazingly nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also, since I've been knitting and crocheting for so long, I know all the yarns. I know what are my favorites. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are still a few brands that I need to mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, bring to my store, but I think it will happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, I couldn't come home empty-handed, so I had to buy a few things. And the very first thing I grabbed was this mug. Just look at this. Like, I mean, this is a work of art. So this is uh, from Charan Sahar. He was a guest of my channel. And he creates these beautiful mugs that have all the lace feel to them. It, it's just absolutely beautiful. So... Tron was a guest of my channel in episode 184. If you guys want to check out his interview, it's really worth your while to watch it. And then, of course, I had to grab a couple of skeins. So I brought home these two. It's Life in the Tall Grass and it's Silk Merino, 400 meters per 100 grams. I mean, I just couldn't help myself with these colors there. <laughs> so I had to buy that. I love the fact that this store is so close to my home and I can just pop there and get some beautiful yarn, get advice, chat with, and, and just have a great time there. I wish the very best of luck to Dan Ruli Stitch. I know we're going to do something together. Perhaps I'll get Anne to come to my channel. And meanwhile, thank you for watching. If you like this program, or if you want me to do more programs like this, please write me a comment and please consider subscribing. Thank you so very much. Happy crafting.